I'm Dale Tanhart, and welcome to Fast Friday, Dale. Three NASCAR bets I love heading into the weekend for the NASCAR Cup Series Ally 400 at Nashville Super Speedway. But first, let me explain why my bets did not hit at New Hampshire Motor Speedway last weekend. Eight. But I have, you know how many? How, I've seen. Thank you, Joe. Beautifully said, because there are no words as to why my bets did not hit at that fuckfest that was New Hampshire Motor Speedway. It was kind of fun, but it was awful for my retirement fund. Number one, 2311 Racing. I like both their drivers to win the poll on Saturday afternoon in Cup Series qualifying. Tyler Reddick's 8.5 to 1. Bubba Wallace is 33 to 1. Very low risk bet on Bubba, who I think certainly will make the top 10. And I love that both these guys are in Group A. When you go back and look at qualifying in 2023, we're holding qualifying at Nashville in a very, very hot part of the day. So naturally, if you're holding qualifying at 1 o'clock or 1.30, as the session progresses, the track is going to get hotter because temperatures are rising, and that makes a difference in the track becoming slower. If the track becomes slower as the session progresses, then I love guys in Group A. Ross Chastain won the pole as like the third or fourth guy to come out uh, and run a lap in the final round of qualifying in 2023. Now, with that being said, Bubba Wallace was actually trending to win the pole as the final driver out, and he spun out at turn four coming to the checkered flag. Tyler Reddick qualified second, and when you look at 2311 as an organization entirely, this track type has been their bread and butter in qualifying. So Tyler Reddick, eight and a half to one, Bubba Wallace, 33 to one. I bet these at Bally. You can bet them at Bally or Bet Rivers, aka the Camby Books. And I know Caesars also has qualifying lines ahead of this weekend. Next up, Ty Gibbs. I'm taking the outright 25 to 1 and the top 10 at minus 105. I think Ty Gibbs is going to qualify super well. Uh, it's been a real quiet last few weeks. But when you go back to the earlier portion of the season, had a lot of good runs, and many of them were on mile and a half style racetracks. Now, he didn't always get the finishes he deserved, or maybe he didn't deserve, but he's got good speed in the race car. I feel like with running the Xfinity Series race, getting that extra track time in another Gibbs car, Ty Gibbs is poised for a breakout weekend. I love the top 10 bet, minus 105 via DraftKings Sportsbook, and then I'm gonna take the outright, 25 to one. If he qualifies super well, you could see these odds diminish before Sunday. Finally, Noah Gregson. We've seen glimpses of greatness from Noah Gregson in this number 10 car this year. I kind of like what they've done on the mile and a half in 2024. Top 10s at Kansas and Vegas. Borderline top five speed in both of those races. And then when you look at Dover, which is a correlating racetrack just because of the concrete surface, also another top 10. Now, they used a little bit of strategy to enhance their track position in that race. But when you look at the full body of work at 1.5s, mile and a half, this team's been way better than they were in 2023. And I really think Noah Gregson could be poised for a good day, but mostly I just like his price. FanDuel is laying plus 390 on a top 10 for Noah Gregson. I think that's a great bet uh, when you consider that he's been good at the mile and a half. So good enough to run top 15, good enough to run top 10 so far in 2024. I'm also probably going to take the top five, 13 to one, and I'm already on his outright at 100 to one. But my favorite bet out of everything is a top 10 plus 390 via FanDuel Sportsbook. This is a great line that I don't think will make it very long because just about every other sports book is less than three to one for a top 10 on Noah Gregg's. Well, there you have it. That's three drivers, technically four that I'm betting on for the Ally 400 at National Super Speedway. For more, of my bets for Xfinity, Trucks, and Cup, please check out Dale Center on YouTube. Full long form videos where I go over every single NASCAR race ahead of the weekend. If you win some money, come back and thank me.